Hey everyone, today we are gonna learn how to make an in-camera seamless transition. Transitions is good for some videos and camera transition is awesome. In the beginning, you feel the camera transition is little bit complicated but if you practice a few times with better camera settings, then you feel camera transitions is really easy. I enjoy in-camera seamless transitions a lot. Honestly, camera transitions can make your videos more cinematic. In this transition tutorial, I'll use two video clips that I recorded a few months ago. About the camera settings, I always try to ensure the maximum resolution. Make sure the shutter speed 60 for 30 fps video and 120 for 60 fps video. You have to set shutter speed double because it can add natural motion blur to your videos. So we can call it motion blur to motion blur transitions. It may be easy for you if you lock or hold the camera focus on the subject. Then move the camera from up to down or in any direction. Make it slow while moving the camera above the subject. We have our first video in the source monitor. It's a lengthy video because I tried several times to get a perfect footage. Now we have to find out the right point to cut the video. I think this motion blur area is perfect for the in point. Hit the icon on the keyboard to create an in point. Let's find out another motion blur area for the out point. So we can move the time indicator slowly to that point. Well it's ok, now hit the ok to create an out point. At this point we have to drag the video over to the timeline and place it on first track of the timeline. Now double click on the second video to open it in the source monitor. Play the video and pay attention to mark the in and out points. Now we can drag the time indicator exactly here. The color and the contrast of the motion blur area of both videos must be similar. In this case this is the best motion blur area to create an in point. So let's cut here by hitting the I key. For an out point we have to move the time indicator to the right after find out the another motion blur area. Hit the ok to create an out point. Now drag the video over to the timeline and put it on after the first video. If I play the video you can see the transition area is invisible or less understandable. That is the main theme of a seamless transition. You can also apply the time remapping if it needs. That's all for today's in-camera seamless transition. I have already made a few seamless transition tutorials. You can also watch those tutorials on this channel. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be back in the next video. Till then, goodbye.